All right, I'm ready. Good evening. I'm Dr. Emmett Brown. I'm standing on the parking lot at Twin Pines Mall. It's Saturday morning, October 26th, 1985, 118 AM. And this is temporal experiment number one. Come on, I need... Hey, boy, get in there. That a boy. In you go. Get down. Get your seatbelt on. That's it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Please note that Einstein's clock is in precise synchronization with my control watch. Got it? Right. Check, Doc. Good. Have a good trip, Einstein. Watch your head. You got that thing hooked up to the... car? Watch this. Yeah, okay. Got it. Not me. The car. The car. If my calculations are correct, when this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious shit. Watch this, watch this! Hello and welcome, welcome back to my channel, and today we are playing Back to the Future. The first one. So the the, the easiest answer is this one. Hot Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ, Doc! You disintegrated Einstein! Calm down, Marty! I didn't disintegrate anything! The molecular structure of both Einstein and the car are completely intact! Where the hell are they? The appropriate question is, when the hell are they? You see, Einstein has just become the world's first time traveler. I sent him into the future. One minute into the future, to be exact. And at precisely 1.21 a.m. and zero seconds, we shall catch up with him and the time machine. The serious answer is going to be this one. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Doc. Are you telling me that you built a time machine? Out of a DeLorean? The way I see it, if you're gonna build a time machine into a car, why not do it with some style? Besides, the stainless steel construction made the flux dispersal. Look out! Oh. Uh, Doc? Okay, this is oh, the diff That's peculiar. The different thing uh, from the. Where's the car, Doc? It should have caught up with us. 27 seconds ago. Doc, uh, well, what happened to Einstein? No need for concern. It's probably just a minor miscalibration of the time circuit. Marty, could you get my notebook? It should be in the toolbox. Okay, now this is proper hello. Hello and welcome back to my channel. And today we are playing Back to the Future. Oh shit. Back to the Future. We call uh, Telltale, Telltale game. Notebook, notebook. Got it. Flux capacitor? That's it. What the heck's a flux capacitor? My latest invention, the thing that makes time travel possible. In this notebook, I've detailed the nearly three decades of scientific breakthroughs necessary to build a working time machine. If it ever fell into the wrong hands, the consequences could be catastrophic. Yes. Let's see. It's mass equals I times Z, and E equals the square root of Z times C squared. And the flux dispersal rate is inversely proportional to the fourth root of N, carry the nine, then... Yeah, something's way off here.
Well, oh, the dialogue is not the same though. The the the, the scene is not the same in the movie. Okay. Oh shit. What the fuck? Marty, is everything okay? Yeah, mom. I it was it was just a nightmare. Uh, I was in the past, and Doc was there. Oh, oh, it already happened. Well, you're safe and sound now. Back in good old 1986. Well, oh, you'd better get up. Your you, father's probably. waiting for you. Huh? Weren't you going to meet him over at Doc's? Holy crap! I'm late. It's been a while since I've been playing games, I'm just trying to play other games other than, you know, I haven't found a good game for this channel, so I found this. I love this series, I love the movies, watch all of them, quite a lot. to stop the sale better late than never you wouldn't believe how much rare stuff there is back here that's doc stuff the city has no right now to. son i know you're upset but your friend's been gone for months and the city really seems hell-bent on using his land for that new parking garage and hey is that a first edition jules verne it's just not fair at least things can't get any worse hey marty fuck you bitch Hi, Biff. Butthead. Come to see if the old crackpot had any buried treasure? Nah, I guess I'm just... ...remembering. I doubt we did the clock. Television. Does nature contrive it so that even with a time machine, you can't intervene? To prevent your own conception, for example. Hmm. Okay, uh, maybe you all, not 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 you all. Supposedly, that most of you have watched this movie, watched this movie series. Doc built this model of downtown Hill Valley way back in 1955. The clock tower in the courthouse even works. What the? Is that Doc's notebook in there? Hey, that looks just like the courthouse. You gotta hand it to the old coot. He was good with his hands. Uh, Biff, uh, can, can I see that a minute? This would look great in my fish tank. Give the old carp something new to nibble on. Uh, mind if I look at it? Can I see that model courthouse for just a second? I need to get something out of it. Like what, a not guilty verdict? That was a joke. Oh, huh. But really, can I? No, I think I'll hold on to it. Fuck you, butthead. Give it here, Biff. Well, well, look at what we have here. Looks like plans for something. What's a flux catheter? It's none of your business. Doc asked me to- Brown's worm food, kid. But this looks like it might be worth something. Ha! Fuck you, Biff. Okay, to interact with something that can make it oh the get up hey dad wh why is my guitar got a price tag on it sorry son must have been an overzealous clerk just pick it up I'll iron things out with the bank well, using 
amplifier. It took me forever to repair this thing after I blew it out last time, and now some jerk's gonna pick it up for pennies. Let's make some noise. Okay. The movie is about Doc and Marty uh, traveling through time, saving the uh, Marty's future, Marty's past, Marty's present. I I do I do not know how to explain this movie. Just watch it. It's good. It's great. It's the best. It's the best thing that I have ever. Holy shit! It's the best movie ever. That's all I can say. Here's an oldie. What a goodie. One, two, three. <laughs> hey, look, it's Chuck Butthead. Let me show you how it's done. Now, Biff, I think that's Marty's guitar. Oh, <laughs> gosh, <laughs> you're right, Mr. McFly. Here you go, Marty. Let's hear a few licks. Yeah, butthead. <laughs> This one? Man, you kids have ruined rock and roll. Shut up, butthead. George. Hey, Dad. About Biff. Dad, I, I know you're trying to help. He talks a big game, son, but he's not so tough. I've been dealing with him a long yeah, time. Yeah, like this Marty Believe McFly me, seems to look, I can look like a fucking it. wimp. So can I. But Marty McFly is supposed to be I like you know, you independent, strong guy, okay, not a strong son, guy. I'll stay out of your brave way. guy, you brave and stupid find me. at the same time. I'm telling you, this sale is a joke. Doc's only been gone for a few months, and I happen to yes, know. Yes, you've told us he's not dead. He's on a trip. Let's say you're right. Have you considered that this trip may not have been entirely voluntary? I hate to say it, but Doc's run up some pretty sizable debts around town. Maybe he's just hiding from his creditors. You got Doc wrong. Sure, maybe he's not so good with money. That's just because his mind's always on bigger things. But he's still a straight-up guy. He'd never run away from his problems. Well, you know him better than I do, son. But the bank is within its rights to sell off his stuff. Maybe you should try to find some things to remember him by before Biff grabs them all. I want a clock though. Can I have the clock though? That notebook is Doc's legacy. I've got an obligation to protect it. Now, hold on a minute. Didn't you just get done telling me Doc's still around? Off traveling somewhere? Yeah. Then how is it your obligation to protect his legacy? You can't have it both ways, Marty. If Doc's alive, he can protect his own legacy. Ha that why that why. Do you think dreams can predict the future? Well, you know I don't go in for that mystical stuff, but I do think they can reflect how you're feeling about the future. Okay then, about Biff. Problem? Biff? He's got this thing, see, and I really need to get it back. If he stole something from you. No, it, it's one of Doc's notebooks. Yeah, he found it first, but. Oh, well, then I'm not sure what to tell you. I guess you'll just have to appeal to his better angels or something. Or something. Oh, uh, something, hey. I'll keep looking around. Thanks, Dad. Okay, television, Doc, be the clocks. Clocks! I wonder why Doc didn't take any of these with him. Because there's too much of them. Chukpa, chukpax. Wait, I got one! Fuck you, butthead! I'm gonna the same fucking song, I'm gonna get copyright. Hey, Biff. I'll pay you for it. How much? Um, Not enough. The fuck? <laughs> you didn't even listen to my car. Okay, okay. I only want that notebook because 
Well, I'm, I'm sentimental. It's like a piece of Doc. Doc's dead. Time to get over it and move on. And this. You in this game too, you fucking dickhead. Okay, I'm gonna try with you. It's just a notebook with Doc's scribblings. What did Doc ever accomplish? Nothing. And then it's worthless, right? If it was really worthless, you wouldn't want it so bad. I just can't let you keep that notebook. It's dangerous. What, is it set to explode or something? Well, uh, in a way. I'll take my chances. Fuck you, Biff. Come on, okay, I'm gonna try this with that you wouldn't understand. That notebook wouldn't mean anything to you. You wouldn't even understand what's in it. You calling me ignorant? I'm going to idiot fuck face. Okay. Ah, uh, so never mind. Fucking find a way another way. I'm not gonna use this. No, I'm not gonna use hints. Cheap fuck sent it come on. Hope that wasn't poison gas or anything. Bubbling, right? Oh, so this is the hints, okay. That's good model. Oh, I should go for Looks like a hand crank lightning rod, or maybe a lightning powered pencil sharpener. Okay, George, my fly, amplifier, type controls. I'll try again with the artist guitar. And now, something your kids are really gonna like. Thanks for warming them up for me, butthead. Yeah, it's gonna be now fucking like. blow the lid off this joint. Whatever you say. Rock on, Biff. Yep. Oh shit. Oh, so that's how you gotta get a uh, got the notebook. Okay. Ah, Doc, where are you? Wait, he's supposed to be back with the train, not the DeLorean. What the fuck? Just like always. Okay, this is the new DeLorean. Einstein! Where do you come from, boy? Didn't you bring Doc with you? Okay, Doc, I know I haven't seen you in a few months, but I'm pretty sure this isn't your shoe. Marty? That! Ah! Marty, if you're hearing this recording, then the DeLorean's automatic retrieval feature is a resounding success. Automatic retrieval? In case of my failure to return to the DeLorean within an allotted time, I programmed the time machine to jump to these four dimensional coordinates without me. As you are well aware, time travel is an inherently risky activity, and despite my elaborate precautions, there's always the possibility that I could land in trouble sometime. And that sometime is now, or then, or uh, maybe later. He's in trouble. Marty, you've come to my rescue in the past, or was it the future? Anyway, I'm relying on you to do it again. Please take the DeLorean back, or, or forward, to whatever it is I'm stuck in time. When you get there, I'm sure you'll figure out what to do. That's it? Aren't you gonna tell me when that is? Just go to the date specified on the time circuit readout under the heading mark, last time departed. Good luck. Right, right, last time departed, last time departed. Uh, oh, jeez. Come on, come on. This thing's still broken? Crap! Oh, great. How am I supposed to find him now? Okay, go. Looks like the time circuits still work. Now I only need to know when to look for Doc. 
Okay, okay, let's, let's just exit for a moment. Einstein! Give me a tech, boy. What kind of trouble is Doc in, Einie? Thank you for the answer. This is the new DeLorean. It's fucking really slow, man. Okay, I need to figure it out. Something. I can use those to enter a date into the time circuits. I know. Well, once I know when to look for Doc. Get keypad, display, switch. Mr. Fusion. So I think might be inside the. What kind of trouble trash. is Doc in, Einie? Thank you again for the answer. For answer, Einstein. Come on. So double click is me now, okay. Good to know. Oh yeah, inventory, inventory. Maybe something can be like inventory. Um, what the fuck? Nah. What do you know about this shoeiny? Great Scott! I think he's onto something! Let's get in. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. How's this supposed to lead me to dock, Aini? Check the puzzle. Mr. Strickland. Step away from the door! <laughs> now, let me get a look at you. Einstein, come on! Just as I suspected. Hooligans! Get along now! Scat! Uh. Can you let me in? I've got something to show you. What is it? Let me see. A shoe? Wow, now what would I want with a... Huh? <gasps> Stay there! Oh, so he's in the past. Doc is in the past! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Stop showing the shoe! Stop showing the shoe! Sorry, Einstein. Good boy. Well, took you long enough. Um, there's a lot of stairs. To return the shoe, I mean. I lost it <laughs> ages ago. You can put it down next to the other one. Still keep the mm, shoes. Much better. So neat and orderly. Yeah, I suppose you'll be wanting some sort of reward now. No, I... All I've got is tea and candy. But... I'm sorry I called you a hooligan. I try not to jump to conclusions, but after all, nine and out of ten people it. in this city are hooligans. 
It's a fact. Look it up. Uh, Have a seat, Sonny. <laughs> hey, you kids! Put out those cigarettes! Uh, I'm going to talk to you. Oh, Etna, okay, Etna. Uh, Miss Strickland? Jack! Diane! I know what you're doing behind that tree! Yes? Remember when you lost your shoe? Shoe? That shoe over there. Oh, that shoe! Yeah. Hi, what a nosy Nelly! No one likes a busybody, you know. But... Oh, fine, let me think about it. Uh... Yes, I, I remember. I, I lost it in a scuffle with a, a dog. Oh, when was it? Oh, yes. The day that speakeasy burned down. A speakeasy? In Hill Valley? Don't act so surprised, young man. Your generation doesn't hold a copyright on moral depravity, you know. <laughs> Sin has been on the prowl in Hill Valley since the day it was founded. Wow, a speakeasy. That must have been wild. Is it true they used to drink gin out of slippers like my grandma said? Don't romanticize <laughs> the past, young man. Prohibition was a time when gangsters ruled the town while honest citizens quaked in their beds. So where was it? That speakeasy that burned down, I mean. That was ages ago. If you're looking for bootleg hooch... No, I I'm just curious, that's all. I'm a, a student of history. Yep. Student I, I of history, this. my Aunt Fanny! Yeah, your generation of hooligans and slackers could give two ripe things about history. Miss Strickland? A video store! Huh? The speakeasy used to be hidden in plain sight down there in the town square. Right where that disgusting videotape rental store squats today. Time to go there now. So the video store building must have gone up after the speakeasy burned down. The following year, as I recall. So I you know where... Uh, I let you know when the... the, the, the Don't thing. let me keep you from your business. Okay. You there! Don't even think about tossing that Kleenex on the ground! Why? Why? Newspapers, there's a lot of newspapers over here. Could just read one of these. Don't touch those! Okay, then. My newspapers are in pristine condition and meticulously organized. Not about to let some street punk get jam all over them. Why, why, why jam? Come on, the boy. Okay, I, I, I gotta shut down the, the chat. Wait. Okay then. Uh, Miss Strickland, about your tea. Uh, you forgot to turn on you! the. It's spelled with a U. You illiterate <laughs> vandal! What the fuck? Okay then. Would you mind if I stepped out for a minute? I, I just remembered a video I've got to return. Do you have to go? I get so few visitors these days. But and I'd hate to have to tell my brother, your vice principal in charge of discipline, how rude you were to me. <laughs> Especially with graduation coming up and all. You motherfucker. Okay, I'm just gonna try shoes. Miss Strickland lost that shoe the day the speakeasy burned down. When was that? I need to go to the video store. Okay, candy, candy. Can I take you on a candy? Oh, the candy looks older than I am. Okay. Excuse me, Miss Strickland. Doing some stargazing? No, I set my sights on it. <laughs> Lower things. Is that? Chip, Get away from that hubcap before I call your father! Okay then. 
What's with all these newspapers? This is my personal archive. I've got every issue of the Hill Valley Telegraph ever published. Get out. Every single issue? From 1871 to the present. If it happened in Hill Valley, you'll find it in my stacks. I guess somewhere in these stacks there must be an article about the speakeasy burning down. Naturally. Yeah, I probably wrote it myself. <laughs> I was quite a reporter back in the day. Any idea what date that article came out? Well, obviously the Son day of a after bitch. the speakeasy burned down. Ah. You know there's like uh where'd you buy those food? At a food store. God damn it, we know at the food store. Where the fuck is the food store? Don't let me keep you from your business. I told you not oh, okay. to touch those! Sorry then, sorry about that. Sorry about those. Okay then. I had not binoculars. Radiator. Man, she keeps it hot in here. <laughs> That's the kettle. I'll be right back with some tea. Then don't touch anything. Just because the tea is not gonna be okay. No, no, never mind, never mind, never mind. Never mind, just the chance, just a chance, come on. Juveniles collide with manure truck. <laughs> <laughs> nice picture. Brown mansion destroyed. 1962. No, no, that's not where Doc's stranded. Alright, Einstein brought me this shoe. And Miss Strickland lost the shoe on the day the speakeasy burned down. But when did the speakeasy burn down? I at least need to know the year. Firm announces plans for Lone Pine Mall. Peabody Ranch to be rezoned for commercial development. Okay then. I don't even know where to start looking for clues in these stacks. Wish I could narrow it down to a year at least. Get to know a year. The years. Just maybe Jeez, just... they all look like they've got sticks up there. What's that, dear? Uh, nothing. Yeah, that's peculiar. The water still hasn't come to a boil. Okay, then. Uh... How, how, how am I gonna do this shit? Okay, it's okay. Uh, kitchen door. I'm just gonna check. That tea's never gonna boil. And then. Kitchen the shoes. Cat trophies. What are these? My editorial trophies. Cat Lover's Quarterly. It's legitimate journalism. Congratulations on that one. Uh, pictures, pictures. Radiators, candy, Edna, newspaper. Uh, I. Miss Strickland? I guess somewhere in these stacks there must be an article about the speakeasy burning down. Naturally! Yeah, I probably wrote it myself! I was quite a reporter back in the day. So it just repeat Any idea itself. what date that article yeah. came out? Well, obviously the day after the speakeasy burned down. Don't let me keep you from your business. gonna try and do this to her. I don't want to record them right now. I think I'd better save this for Doc. Okay then. Why? Oh, oh, examine, examine. This notebook has all of Doc's plans for the flux capacitor and the DeLorean. I'd better make sure it never falls into the wrong hands. 
And by wrong hands, I mostly mean bit. Get it? I keep this picture of my dad to remind me that even the most hopeless losers can grow up to be pretty cool guys. I don't think so. Oh, come on. Come on, God damn it. Where, where, where can I? Go to the street. Kitchen shoes. I need to know the year, I need to know the years. It'll be years. Why not kill And if I take a look? Go ahead, dear. Okay then. 1932. 1932. Thank you. Thank you, goddammit. Thank you. Rebuilt in February 1932. So the fire must have happened before then. But when? I need a date. Don't look at me. I'm far too old for you. Why? Oh, the, the date. Okay. Ah. Ha ha ha. Ah. Looking funny. Okay, come on. Surely the water's boiling by now. Okay, then come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's see. Ground broken on site of former speakeasy. Singer vanishes. Hill Valley Expo delights crowd. Soup kitchen exposed. Here we go. Soup speakeasy exposed. arsonist slain. Legal procedure gave way to old fashioned vengeance last night when a mob descended on the Hill Valley police station. The suspect in the speakeasy arson case, a drifter known as Carl Sagan, was pulled from his... Carl Sagan? It's Doc! Killed by a mob... What's the date? June 14th, 1931. Jeez, I gotta rescue him! My newspapers! I'm sorry, sorry. Miss Strickland, uh, let me... No! You've gotten my history out of order! Oh, do you know how long it'll take to fix what you've done? Okay, so then... Ow! Get out! Get out! Get out! Help! Police! I'm being attacked by hooligans! Marty! Where you been, son? And what are you doing in that getup? Uh, didn't I tell you? I, I got the lead in the school play. Uh, we're doing... Grapes of Wrath? Right! Oh, Steinbeck! Who are you playing? Um, uh... Never mind, you don't have to explain. I'm sure whatever it is you're up to, you know what you're doing, right? I hope so. Hey, sometimes you gotta go out on a limb for the ones you love, right? Wish my dad had understood that. You won't stay away too long. You'll barely know I was gone. Yep. Because time is... Ready to go, Einstein? What, what, what are his name? Time is relevant. It's relevant. Time is not relevant. Is that it? From the Spider-Man? Okay, sick time I've okay. gotta turn on the time circuits first. Okay, then. Time circuits, on. Flux capacitor, uh, fluxy. Okay, if Doc's gonna get killed on June 14th, 1931, I'll just show up the day before and get him out. I hope you know what you're doing, Doc. That's Ken. Give me the shoes and the clip on. Oh, 
of the year of the Mafia. Don't tell me you're gonna park behind this shit again. Einstein, where'd you go now, boy? Holy shit. Oh, oh. Is that Miss Strickland? Yeah, it looks like her. Young man, excuse me, young man. Who? Uh, me? You're the only man in the street, and I'm looking for a man in the street reaction. Naturally, you know about the explosion that destroyed this illegal gin establishment. I read about it, yeah. What's your opinion of Carl Sagan, the stranger who single-handedly did what the law has been unable to do for ten long years, namely, rid Hill Valley of the scourge of liquor? Uh. <laughs> Soup kitchen. Uh, I, I, I do not know how he's gonna go with this. There's gotta be some sort of mistake here. Doc, I mean, uh, uh, Carl wouldn't do something like that. It's surprising the lengths a person will go to when it's a clear-cut matter of right and wrong. You've got an honest look about you. You do support the side of righteousness, I trust. Uh, yeah, I'm a supporter. You can mark me down as a supporter. The young man said, flashing a boyish yet virile grin. Hill Valley needs more upstanding youths like yourself. You have a message for the vicious gangsters who still roam these streets? No doubt plotting to corrupt our citizens with another den of booze, sin, and debauchery? Uh... No, no not, not, not really. really. That's the spirit! Destroy them with indifference! If we refuse to patronize their establishments and glorify their wicked exploits, they'll soon be exposed for the pathetic wretches they are! May I get your name? Yeah, it's... Clint Eastwood. Uh... Harry Callahan. Harry Callahan. Thank you for sharing your candid opinions, Not gonna Mr. Pick Callahan. Michael Corleone. Edna Strickland, Hill Valley Herald. I know. I met you back. I mean, I'm familiar with your work. You read my column? How sweet! I know it's just an etiquette column, but I believe it'll lead to bigger and better. Oh! Einstein, no. Down, boy. Is this wretched creature yours? He assaulted me once before. What's got into you? Aggressive dogs must be kept on leash at all times. It's the law. Look it up. Doc, I gotta find Doc. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go to the soup kitchen first because I know soup kitchen is like my Mari run. Hold down your right mouse button to make Mari run. I'm holding down my right mouse button. It's not running. Oh, okay, shift, shift is right. The soup kitchen, then to go to soup kitchen.
Man, the graphic is like 2008. Oh shit. Big fly. Biff? Kid. Grandpa? That's Mr. Tannen to you, Artie. What are you doing out here? Well, I was getting kind of hungry, so I figured I'd come down here for some free soup. Just thought I'd come down for some soup. Think, McFly. The DA's throwing around subpoenas like Babe Ruth. I don't think Ruth's a pitcher anymore. Shut it. If one of those subpoenas landed in the hands of my number cruncher, I'd be in a whole lot of trouble. I could even get sent up the river. You wouldn't want that, would you? Would you? Uh, think, no, McFly. Of think. course not, kid. All right. That's better. What are you looking at, punk? Keep your eyes on the soup, kid. Well? Well, what? What are you still doing here? Sorry, kid. I'll just run back to the safe house. You do that. And McFly? Yes? That hat's too flashy. You better let me hold on to it. Uh... Now scram! You got it, boss. And don't come out until I give you the all clear. I swear, if even one of you mooks could add two plus two without your fingers, I'd dump that wimp into the lake. Hey! Anyway, I'm off to make myself irresistible. Don't let anyone burn down the shop while I'm gone. Maybe I should go to the jail and talk to Doc before I start dialing random people in 1931. <laughs> I better not talk to him. I don't want to mess up his timeline. Yeah, it's, it's talking in front of him. Monologue like in front of him is not going to mess up the timeline. There's no way I'm going to keep that door open without some help. Oi, fuck face. Open the door. Nice rack. Yeah, we got all kinds of uh, culinary enhancements back there. He's gonna go to the docks first. Who are you and what do you want? Can I talk to, uh, Carl Sagan? Are you his lawyer? Um, no. Then scram! <coughs> Doc! <gasps> Art! Doc! What are you doing here? You sent for me, Doc. I did? When? May 14th, 1986. 1980? <gasps> the automatic retrieval system, of course. I'd almost forgotten about that. So what's our plan for getting you out of here? Plan? We don't need a plan. We don't? Not in the slightest. The police picked me up for that speakeasy fire a couple of weeks ago, but the DA hasn't got a case. They're releasing me tomorrow morning. So basically, I traveled 50 years into the past to deliver your car? Sorry about that. But it's so wonderful to see you. We have a lot of catching up to do. Yeah, you, you might want to hold off on that, Doc. Hey, Scott! I'm going to be gunned down by gangsters on the steps of the courthouse! Why would they do that? Guess they didn't approve of my burning down their speakeasy. Very funny, Doc. Maybe now we should come up with a plan? A plan? Right. But what? Let's go back in time. I uh, uh, start to the gangsters. Why don't we tell the authorities? Tell them what? That my friend from the future has proof that I'll be murdered tomorrow? They'd ship us both off to the loony bin. And trust me, you don't want to see the inside of a 1931 insane asylum. Okay then, uh, let's talk to the gangsters. Hey, maybe I could talk to the gangsters. Tell them they're about to shoot the wrong guy. I don't think the criminals of this era are going to be very receptive to a complete stranger telling them that their secret assassination plan is misguided, do you? Why don't 
don't I take the DeLorean, go back in time before you were arrested, and stop you from getting caught in the first place? Don't even think about it. Without my unjust incarceration, the events that sent you into the past might never happen, resulting in a paradox of continuum shattering proportions. Jeez, we've been back together for five minutes, Doc. You're already <laughs> talking about the end of the universe. I've missed that. Don't be ridiculous, Marty. I was only referring to the end of the universe as we know it. Well, I suppose I could just get some dynamite and break you out of jail. No, no, that's far too dangerous. Not just to me, but to random innocent people in the past. The repercussions could be... <gasps> that's it! What's it? My rocket-powered drill. You have a rocket-powered drill? Not yet. I haven't built it yet. You've lost me, Doc. <laughs> Listen, a few months ago, my 17-year-old self sent in a patent application for a rocket-powered drill. I abandoned the project after I never heard back from the patent office, but the prototype should be nearly complete. Great, I'll just run back to your lab and... No, no, I said nearly complete. You'll need me to help you finish it. How the hell am I supposed to sneak a half-finished rocket-powered drill into your cell? Not me, me! 1931 me! Wait a minute, Doc. You want me to convince your 1931 self to build a rocket-powered drill to break you out of jail? Precisely! Well, that, that's kind of good idea. Okay, where can I find your younger self? Okay, well, let's say I go along with this crazy idea. Where can I find you? I mean, uh, the other you. How should I know? It was over 50 years ago. Why don't you go over to the soup kitchen next door and give my house a call? They'll know where to find me. Soup kitchen. Got it. Just stay away from the soup. It'll cause irreparable damage to your digestive system. Okay. I guess I better get started. Don't worry, Doc. I'll get you out of here in no time. I'm not worried. Once you and my younger self put your heads together, you'll be unstoppable. Okay, cannot be. I cannot, cannot go and explore things. Just gonna head back to the soup kitchen. And the new management. for charity descriptions lazy hands make a man poor but diligent hands bring wealth maybe that's my problem lazy hands <laughs> brown results uh hi uh, do you know where I could find Emmett Brown? Young Master Brown is currently tending to his clerking duties at the courthouse. Who may I say is calling? The courthouse? Doc never told me he worked at the courthouse. Go back there. Oh, oh, how can I? Ahem. <clears throat> okay. Hey, um, uh, never mind. What are those tables for? We keep a few extra tables around for our end of the month hobo soirees. for management only, rummy. Whoa! <laughs> okay then, uh, okay then. Oh, good. I better not talk to him. I don't want to mess up his timeline. And that guy's like, mm, okay.
There's no way I'm gonna keep that door open without some help. Oh, so... I need Emmett Brown. Where's the courthouse? The courthouse. Okay, over there. Oh, there. Excuse me, coming through, coming through. Excuse me, excuse me. Hello, I need. Fuck. Don't God touch damn. those. These are very sensitive legal documents. Nobody is supposed to handle them but sworn officers of the court. Papa, I mean, Judge Brown says so. Judge Brown? Doc, uh, nice to meet you. I'm Michael, uh, Corleone. <laughs> Brown, but I am a law clerk, not a doctor. Now please get out of my way. I have important business to transact. Listen, Emmett, you don't know me, but I'm your friend. I'm not big on friends. They get in the way of work. Uh. Listen, I understand you're working on a new invention in your lab. Invention? You must have me mixed up with somebody else. I'm in law. I have absolutely no interest in science. That even possible? Oh, let's start over. Four sequels, mass times. Come on, wait up a minute. You again? Can't you see I'm busy? Okay, so you don't want your old man to know. That's fine. Listen, we all keep secrets. But I'm telling you, you can level with me about this science project of yours. I the... am not a scientist. Go ahead, ask me what the equals. What does E equal? I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> See? I don't know where you got your information from about me, mister, but you're wrong, wrong, wrong. This is stupid. This is stupid dialogue. Man. Okay, M -M 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 -M. Just give me a chance. Come on. Come on. Harassment's a federal crime, Mr. Corleone. See, I'm sort of in the science business myself. That's why I sought you out. Not that I care in the least, because science is the furthest thing from my own area of interest, which is law, but I don't believe you. It's true. I'm a scientist. So tell me something, Mr. Scientist, from your vast storehouse of scientific knowledge. Uh, the leg bones connected to the <laughs> thigh bone? <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. What's this important business you're up to? It's a legal matter. Very complicated, very abstruse. I need to obtain five sets of initials on every copy of this writ of indemnification before Pop... I mean, before Judge Brown can even think of granting a waiver to the party of the first part. You have no idea what it's about, do you? That's how important it is. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let, let's let this do okay. wait, wait, So, please. Emmett, what time are you through with work? Depends. On weeknights, Pop sometimes keeps me in the office till 9. Holy oh, shit, no. 9 at night? Yeah. But today's Saturday. Right. So I probably won't get off before 10. How about you knock off work early and I'll buy you a beer? Uh, or soda? What do you say? Don't try to tempt me from my duty with sugary beverages. <laughs> Keeping the wheels of justice turning, that's my one passion in life. Besides, if I left before 8, my Pop would kill me. Sounds like you're a little scared of your father. Scared of my father? Pop is the most learned, just, incorruptible judge that Hill Valley has ever seen. The only people scared of Judge Brown are people with a dark secret to hide. And I don't have a dark secret to hide. Sounds like you're a little scared of your father. Scared of my father? Okay, this is just... Father? Pop is the most learned, the just, incorruptible Daylock. judge that Hill Valley has ever seen. The only people scared of Judge Brown are people with a dark secret to hide. And I don't have a dark secret to hide. Come on, you can trust me, Doc. Uh, Emmett, it's your future I'm looking out for. In more ways than one. What are you talking about? I'm talking about you and science. 
Oh, that word again! If you insinuate I'm a scientist once more, I'll sue you for defamation of character! Dude, 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 dude. Come on, come on. Ah, come on. Hello? No solicitors! Ah, oh, god damn it. Well, no. Bank off what I'm talking about. Will you just give me a chance? Harassment's a federal crime, Mr. Corleone. Come on, Doc. Uh, Emmett, uh, drop the Legal Eagle Act. I got something more important for you to do. Mr. Corleone, I'll have you know that the law is the very mortar that holds society together. And we in the legal profession are like brick masons building the edifice of the future. Your dad tell you that? Every morning. Damn it. Uh, about your say it. <laughs> How am I gonna? Will you just give me a chance? Harassment's a federal crime, Mr. Corleone. Damn it. Uh, about your say it. What am I gonna tuck no. into? Will you just give me a chance. Harassment's a federal crime, Mr. Corleone. Sounds like you're a little scared of your father. Scared of my, scared of my father. God damn it. Pop is the most learned, just, incorruptible judge that Hill Valley has ever seen. The only people scared of Judge Brown are people with a dark secret to hide, and I don't have a dark secret to hide. Damn it. Uh, about don't your. Say it. Well, that's then. Expectation die. <sighs> hey. What am I missing here? Doc's notebook doesn't belong to him. Okay, actually, it does belong to him, but not yet. In any event, it's probably a really bad idea to give him a book full of all the things he hasn't invented yet. Okay, okay, okay. Uh. Emmett? Emmett? Ah, oh, god damn it, man. What the fuck? Why is that? I don't need to go in there anymore. Why is Emmett Brown? Mm, now, if H stands for one of them. Uh. A one dimensional harmonic oscillator, then naturally H2A multiplied by the inversion of H has to. Oh, think, Emmett, think! H to the A multiplied by the inverse of A, H to the A multiplied by the inverse of A, I. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> multiplied by the inverse of A, my. Be equal to. H oh, think, Emmett, think. H to the A multiplied by the inverse of A. H to the A multiplied by the inverse of A. I, oh, oh. Uh, okay then. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? The fuck? Okay, okay, okay. Nah. Acceleration is reduced by the inverse of the derivative of the speed relative. Will you just give me a chance? Harassment's a federal crime, Mr. Corleone. Damn it. Uh, about your. Say it. Aini, Aini. Einstein, come on. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Einstein, Einstein, boy, come here, boy. Hey, how you doing, Einie? Oh, fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. So, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? I'm out of options. I'm out of options. H to the A multiplied by the inverse of A might not be equal to A's expectation value, but only if the coefficient of friction remains. I don't want to hear this. Okay. It's gonna bring you dark. What the fuck is the game? for you. Dark. Dark. Morty. Have you found my younger self yet? I saw my grandpa. I bumped into it, the soup kitchen. My grandfather. No! 
Don't worry, I didn't talk to him or change his future or anything. Good. I wish I could, though. This era's tannin is treating him like dirt. Don't worry. If history plays out as it's supposed to, he'll soon be out from under Kit Tannen's thumb and free to live out his life as a humble accountant with your grandma. What was her name again? Sylvia. Right, Sylvia. So, uh... I recall him again. So, Doc, does this ring a bell? Oh, think, Emmett, think. H to the A multiplied by the inverse of A. H to the A multiplied by the inverse of A. I Good A. grief! Is that me? <laughs> I sound so... Young? I was gonna say intense. I forgot how wound up I used to get. Yeah, but what are you muttering about? Oh, that's easy. It's Ivanov's conundrum. Just tell my younger self that H equals the Hamiltonian operator. But won't giving him the answer mess up the time stream? Only if it turns out that reality is actually nothing more than a holographic illusion created by the interplay of subatomic particles on a vast two-dimensional membrane. Yes, so I, uh, it'll be fine. Okay, that's in English. Okay, thank you. Uh, Hang in there, Doc. Not the best choice of words, Marty. Yeah, that's heavy. Emmet, Emmet, you're okay. Now, if H stands for one, for a one dimensional harmonic oscillator, then naturally H2. Will you just give me a chance? Harassment's a federal crime, Mr. Corleone. Maybe H equals the Hamiltonian operator. What did you just say? I said maybe H equals the Hamiltonian operator. Yeah. Great Scott! If H is the Hamiltonian, then H to the A multiplied by the inverse of H can only be the same as the expectation value for A. <laughs> That's it! That's the solution to Ivanov's conundrum, the problem I've been wrestling with in my head all week! I'm sure you would have figured it out by yourself in a day or two. The way you figured out how to build that rocket power drill. Where did you learn so much about science? I'm trying to play the Vulcan. <laughs> I read a lot of jokes. Like you know about my rocket power drill, then there can only be one explanation. What? You're from the patent office. I confess I didn't quite know what to expect when I sent the paperwork, but I never expected this. Welcome! I'm at your service. What can I do for you? Can I see your rocket power drill? Of course, of course. Naturally, it's just a scale model, but it's nearly operational. I can show it to you, say, first thing in the morning? No, no, no. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I need it tonight. I need it tonight. Uh, I need it full. Now nah, that's no good. I need to see a full-size model. <gasps> that's fully operational. <gasps> tonight. <gasps> Otherwise, we'll have to award the patent to a competing inventor, uh, Dr. McCoy. It can't be done! I mean, it might be possible to construct a full-size working model in that time frame, yes, but I Hank haven't McCoy. got the main ingredient for the fuel! I'll get it for you. What is it? 190 proof grain alcohol! And you know how difficult it is to get a hold of alcohol these days. Especially now that someone's blown up the speakeasy. And besides, there's no way I can get off work until I've delivered the subpoena. Part of the investigation into the business affairs of Kid Tannen. Is it vitally important you see that rocket power drill today? Yes. yes. Is it vitally important you deliver that subpoena today? Yes! Listen, I'll help you deliver it and I'll see to what you get the alcohol you need. <laughs> It'll help you get that drill finished by tonight. Deal? <laughs> Deal! Here's the subpoena. Okay. I've got a subpoena my grandpa. <gasps> it's Kid Tannen. Hey, I, I just saw him at the soup kitchen yelling at Arthur McFly. I'm not surprised. Arthur does the books for his business. What kind of business? That's what the DA is trying to find out. Let's go talk to him. No! Why not? Kid Tannen can tell us where Arthur's hiding. Yeah, well, he can also have us fitted for a Chicago overcoat. Okay, then. But, 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 but I need to know where... Ah! Okay. Hey, uh, Miss Strickland. Oh, hello, Mr. Corleone. Try not to draw any undue attention my way. I'm on the trail of a hot new scoop, as we in the newspaper business say. I'm sorry about the way Einstein lit into you back there. I don't know what got into him. Well, I hope you've learned to keep him under control. 
Yeah, I found someone to keep him distracted. Very good! Now let's see if you know your multiplication tables. The fuck? Okay, uh... What about the scoop? What's the scoop? I've heard rumors that something shady is going on at the Sisters of Mercy soup kitchen. It's under new management, you know. And, oh, we mustn't jump to any conclusions. Not till the facts are in. I hope to heaven it is just a rumor. That soup kitchen is the front line in the good fight. If it goes bad, what will happen to the Stay Sober Society? Not to mention all the charitable institutions that depend on me for soup deliveries. You make hot soup deliveries? It's one of my many small contributions to the good cause. Healthy bodies, healthy souls. Or so one hopes. I pick up barrels of hot soup at the kitchen, and I deliver them hither and thither. Hill Valley Orphanage, the St. Francis Xavier Ranch for Unwanted Hita Children, Hita. Foggy Mountain Home for the Incurably Insane, Shady Acres Rest Home. Oh, I can barely keep track of them all. It's a very big job. It's a small job. It's just now. Okay, okay. Hey, I can help you deliver soup. But I donate a lot of time to charities. Oh? Which ones? The, um, Mario Brothers. <laughs> what the ah, fuck? Ah, yes. The Italians <laughs> do so many good works. If you'll just fix it so I can pick up the barrels of soup. Now hold your horses, let's not get over eager. I drive the soup cycle in this town, and I'm not about to turn it over to an upstart. But if you're well connected with the local charitable institutions... Yeah? You can let me know when they're running low on soup. As a matter of fact, I do know a local charity that's running low on soup. Oh? Who? The insane asylum. Whose inmates are crazy for soup. All right, Edna, just think of all those poor unfortunates and hold your nose. Mr. Donnelly! She's out of the way. Maybe I can talk to Kit Tannen. What the hell, Matches? You you got Kiwi all over my socks! Sorry, boss. Get out of here. How about you? Huh? I'm sitting at a shoe shine booth. You walk up. Either you're here to shine my shoes, or you got a death wish. Which is it? Hey, I represent United Charities of Hill Valley. Can you authorize me to pick up soup from your establishment and deliver it to some very deserving souls? Nah, that Strickland dame's got the charity racket pretty much locked up. No point in giving her competition. Get it. Um. Edna Strickland thinks your soup kitchen might not be on the up and up. That dame gets on my nerves. Got a great pair of games, though. I guess you won't talk about your business. Why not? I got nothing to hide. I recently acquired controlling interest in the Sisters of Mercy soup kitchen. I'm looking for a guy named Arthur McFly. He's my, uh, sort of a relative. Well, he's my employee. He's very busy today. Since you're Arthur's boss, you know where he is, right? He's at the, uh, office. Where's the office? I forget. So, when do you think Arthur will be leaving the office? When I tell him he can leave the office. Hey, you missed a spot. Isn't that Arthur McFly's hat you're holding? It was McFly's hat. Now, it's my peanut bowl. <laughs> Could I buy Arthur's hat off you? Could you keep your mind on your work, huh, shoeshine boy? Hanging on to my peanut bowl. Can I have some peanuts? Why not? I'm a magnanimous kind of guy. Go ahead, knock yourself out. Hey, kid! Yeah? What the hell is that? Hey!
did you do? Lousy crook! Emmy! Oh! He's got this kid! Nobody makes a monkey out of Kid Tannen! Me up. I guess I make the right choice all, all the fucking time. But that's okay. Then. Learn how to move like that. Sandlot football. They used to call me the streak. Get out. Okay, now I need to know where I can find the. Okay. How can I help you, sir? Without any money, I don't really have any business in there. <laughs> I just go in and how can I help you, sir? Just went out. Pretty clean, though. Yo, uh, can. You have to deliver a lot of subpoenas? Father's always sending me out to do these dirty jobs. He wants to expose me to different kinds of people. All he's exposed me to is a lot of new curse words. This subpoena's for Arthur McFly? Have you seen him? We're a few seconds in the soup kitchen, but I think he's gone back into hiding. Brilliant deduction, Einstein. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 we'll yeah. We'll get yeah. that subpoena delivered. Or my name isn't Michael Corleone. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm 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 a Italian mafia. Hey, honey, come here for a sec, boy. Yeah, gonna smell hey, some boy, peanuts. You find the guy who belongs to this hat. <laughs> Where is he? Where is he going? Only one way to find out. So look at that. Deja vu. Okay. Yeah? Who is it? Yeah? It's McFly! Shh, I know! I'll give it back to him after I give him the subpoena. Okay then. Uh, subpoena first. Maybe not. I don't need to push it again. Arthur's already there. But I can't see him. Oh, okay, now I can see him. Someone's playing tricks on me. God damn it. God damn it, okay. Uh what now? Hey, uh, Arthur. What do you think you're doing? I'm throwing the subpoena. You can't do that. You have to hand it to him. I'm just gonna talk to him. Hey, Arthur. Can you come down a minute? Do I know you? We represent the law. You don't want to go against the law, do you? No, but I don't want to go against Kid Tannen either. And he ordered me to stay put till he gives the word. Sorry. Some other time. You fucking goofball. What now? 
it's me again. Please come down. Why? We've got some important information for you, but we can't yell it. It's private. Then put it in a postcard and send it. I'm stuck up here till the boss tells me I can leave. Sorry. Some other... Okay, so we can skip the dialogue by pressing right. That must one. Just cut though. What now? Okay. It's me again. Why? We've got something for you. It's a sub a subscription to the accountant weekly. He won't come out if he knows why we're really here. No, oh, right. Ha <laughs> I'm not interested. And besides, the boss won't let me leave the room. Sorry. You fucking kidding me? Can 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 I just keep go up there and fuck punch him in the fucking face? Oh yeah, he's my grandpa. I can do that. What now? It's me again. Please come down. Why? I'm your grand uh mother's great nephew. You mean my second cousin? Yeah. Glad to know you, but I can't leave this building till the boss says so. He's given strict orders. Sorry. Some of What now? I'll give it back to him. It's me again. Why? We've got some important. Then put it in. Sorry. Ah. Uh. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Okay. Uh ooh. Can I use this? What now? Arthur's already a little freaked out. I think showing him a picture of his yet-to-be-born son could turn him into a vegetable. It's me again. Why? We represent... You don't want to go... No. Sorry. Bring the doorbell again. I don't need to push it again. Need any help? Um. I have to hand this subpoena to Arthur. Oh my god. Quit uh. bugging me, or I'll tell. Two. Hmm. Not sure what that'll do. 
grandpa may be a little wimp. I need to get this subpoena into Arthur McFly's hands, so young Doc will have the time to help me bust old Doc out of jail. How am I gonna do that? I got it. I got it. No, I didn't get it. What now? Can you bust me up? It's me again. Why? We've got something for you. It's a sub a subscription to the no. Ha ha ha. Sorry. Some other time. You fucking dick. Ultimate fly. <sighs> okay. So I gotta go to pee break just now. I do not know what to do over here though. So I'm just gonna cut the. Episode right here. No, no, after pre break, I cannot cut your paper episode. It's gonna continue. Continue. Oh. Can I bring him to. Okay then. Should interact somehow with the thing in the thing. Ah, she's back. And Etna. On Etna. Well, well, look who's back. They say rats always return to the scene of the sinking ship. Uh, get him, matches. Again? From there, you son of a bitch! Right now! That's an order! I don't think they're in a talkative mood right don't now. Don't make me angry, Smucko! I don't Get think they're in a talkative mood the right music. now. The fuck? So, given the hat? You can't get away no that way. easy! Nobody puts it. one over on Kid Tannen and. Subpoena? Bitch, you just. What the fuck? Lives to tell about it! You're dead meat, twerp! Okay, so start gonna... composing your epitaph. Einstein. Einstein. Help! Lay off! Get away Get from me, you crazy Get mutt! Up. Go! Go away, dog! We're busy here! Go on, scram! Hey! Where'd he go? You let him get away, idiot! Ah. Oh. Okay. Okay, that's it for today's episode because I do not know what to do. But thank you for watching me playing uh, Back to the Future because we are going to Back to the Future. No, we are. We were. We were. We we are. We is. Oh, what the fuck! Shut up! I do not know what the, the past present tense I, for this kind of situation right now. Thank you for watching me playing this game. And if you like this video, hit the like button. If you like my channel, hit the subscribe button. And I will see you dudes in the next video. Dude. Peace out.